everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be recanning diced tomatoes. Okay, so here we are. This is everything I'm going to need. I have some extra diced tomatoes that have been in the fridge for a few days. I'm going to can these up. Here are my Unico brand number 10 cans of diced tomatoes. I am pressure canning. I know everybody water bath cans diced tomatoes. I typically don't water bath can and the reason is, and I kind of outlined it in my other recanning video that I published recently, but I don't have proper ventilation in my kitchen and there's just too much spluttering of water with water bath canning. So this is why I choose to pressure can. Okay, I just want to get that out of the way. It's not necessary. I will refer to the Presto manual for the processing time. Here I have my ring bands and my lids. I'm going to pour previously boiled water over them. I'm using the Bernardin Dollarama regular mouth snap lids today. Okay, and as you see, I have a lot of jars ready. I have vinegar and paper towel for wiping the rims. I have my debubbler, my lid lifter, my jar lifter. I have this big ladle canning funnel. Today I'll be using my 23 quart Presto and I've done my safety checks. Beside it, I have a stock pot. I'm going to warm up the tomatoes, okay? I'm not gonna bring them to a boil. I'm just gonna heat them up. Keep in mind that recanning is not an approved method, but it works for me. Okay, so if you want to do this, look into it, look at the USDA guidelines, and make your decision from there. Let's get started. Okay, see there, I have no extractor fan. An insufficient, outdated fan. Okay, so I'm doing this voiceover because I have a neighbor who's cutting concrete and it's really loud. I'm explaining here that I have just heated up the tomatoes. I haven't brought them to a boil. And here is this silly um, ladle, it is so, floppy anyway let's fill up the jars there you go just a bit more okay it's time to debubble Wipe the rim with vinegar and put on a lid and ring band, screwing it on finger tight. Here it is, and let's put it into the canning pot. So I got 16 jars. I have 10 on the bottom and six on top. 
I'm going to close up my canning pot and crank up the heat. The canning pot is now venting a steady stream. I'm going to set the timer for 10 minutes and vent the pot. So the canner has vented 10 minutes. I'm now going to put the pressure regulator on and I'll bring you back when the dial is up to 11 pounds pressure. reached 11 pounds pressure. I'm going to set the timer for 25 minutes. Okay, so I did look this up in my Presto book. It's on page 31. It also said 11 pounds pressure, pints and quarts for 25 minutes, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so the 25 minutes processing time is up. I'm going to turn off the element and I'll bring you back when the dial reaches zero the air vent cover lock drops and it's time to take the pressure regulator off of the pot. pressure has gone down to zero. The air vent cover lock has dropped and I've taken the pressure regulator off of the vent pipe. I'll bring you back when I've taken all of the jars out of the canner. Okay, so they're all sealing and you can just look at the jars to see the tomatoes have kept their form. There you go, ping. However, I do have to mention something. When I canned Hunt's tomato sauce, there was citric acid in it. And I made the assumption that there was citric acid in the Unico number 10 can of diced tomatoes that I have just canned or recanned. As I was recycling it, I saw it said may contain citric acid. If I knew that prior, I would have added a fourth a teaspoon of citric acid to each jar. Anyway, hindsight is 2020. This has worked out really well. Again, recanning tomato products is not recommended. However, it works for me. And these are the perfect size for what I need. If you give this a try, do your research. But I am very pleased with the results. It's a few hours later and these have cooled down enough for me to touch them without burning my hands. And I just wanted to show you how well these diced tomatoes have kept their form. I am so thrilled. Anyway, just thought I'd give you an update. Thank you for watching.